module two covers three chapters. The first chapter that we will be discussing is chapter four, which is a continuation of chapter three lessons. So um, the lesson before was addition and subtraction of fraction. Okay, so here what we'll do is we'll start multiplication of fractions. But the first lesson is the product of a fraction and a whole number. Okay, so we need to remember when we see the word of, that should mean times or multiply. Okay, so we also need to remember uh, that in grade four, we already started the lesson of taking a fraction of a whole number. So the strategy that I will be showing will be a continuation of grade four strategy. So our exercises will come from page 73. The first exercise says 5 sixths of 12. Now, they have uh, blanks for the kids to fill out. So we'll, I'll discuss using this first and show my strategy of solving the problem. So since they want 5 sixths of 12, that means of means times. So that means the first blank is 12. Now, we should remember that all whole numbers can be written as a fraction over 1, which means in the next step, that's 5 times 12. Okay, and then if we multiply, that will be 60 over 6. And if we reduce or divide, this becomes 10. Okay, so um, that's kind of a tedious process. So my process for this from last year was to take 12 divided by 6, and then times by 5. So if we take 12 divided by 6, that would be 2 times 5, that will be 10. So the beauty of this is we're not making the numbers bigger because if we make the numbers bigger, that's just added stress. Okay, so another example is 4 seventh of 35. So if we follow their method, this will be 4 seventh times 35. And then this will be 4 times 35 over 7. So if we multiply that, that will be 140 divided by 7. And when we divide, that will be 20. But again, that is huge. It's a big number and it's hard to do mentally. So, the alternative is just to do 35 divided by 7 times 4. So, if we take 35 divided by 7, that would be 5 multiplied by 4, that will give us 20. So, again, if there are blanks to be filled out, we have no choice but to fill out the blanks. But if they don't have blanks to fill out, then that means we want to do the easier method. And the easier method is just to take the whole number, divide by the denominator, and multiply by the numerator. That concludes lesson one of chapter four. See you in the next lesson.